Good morning, Year 3. Welcome to your writing lesson today. It's Tuesday, the 23rd of February. A quick recap for you from yesterday. We are writing to inform the visitors to Butzer Ancient Farm. We're particularly writing all about Stone Age. And we're going to be using a non-chronological report as our form. So that means we will be writing down the facts as we know them, rather than telling a story. Today is particularly focused on grammar. So we're going to be learning to identify simple, compound and complex sentences because we need to write sentences which add extra information. So your success criteria today are to identify coordinating and subordinating conjunctions and to use and use these to identify simple, compound and complex sentences. So if you remember from yesterday, we watched a video about Butts Ancient Farm. The people who visit this farm are learning about people from a long time ago. Some are including the Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age, and even the Roman times. And we're going to be focusing on writing about the Stone Age. Using this book, Stone Age Boy, as one of our sources of evidence, as well as being a story, it also contains lots of information. Uh, we realise that it's a fusion book, which means it contains facts as well as story, and you should hopefully still have copies of these pages from yesterday. But as the focus is on grammar today, I want us first of all to remind ourselves of the structure of a compound sentence. Well, first of all, what's a sentence? Well, a simple sentence is one idea, it has a subject and a verb, and it stands on its own as an idea. Now, a compound sentence is where you take two of those ideas, two of those simple sentences, and you join them together. Have a look at this model here. It starts with this shape here. This triangular shape here is just to remind you that you must start with a capital letter. Then you write your main clause, your main first idea. You have a second idea at the end of your sentence. And in joining those two together, is a coordinated conjunction. And here are some of them. You've seen these before, but, and, or, so. But there are a few others as well. And finally, at the end of the sentence, you have some punctuation, usually a full stop, or a question mark or exclamation mark if it's appropriate. So I could have the idea that a Stone Age man made fire, and I could have the idea um, uh, they're tricky to light. Maybe the idea that fires are tricky to light. So that's two ideas. Idea one is they made fire. So that would be here. And idea two was they were tricky to light. So my sentence could be then joined with a but. Stone Age man made fire, but it was tricky to light. That would be a compound sentence. Two ideas joined with a coordinated conjunction. You're familiar with those. We've done lots on compound sentences in the autumn term, and you've done some for part of your home learning too. The complex sentence is a little bit different. So a complex sentence starts in the same way as a compound sentence and a simple sentence. It starts with a capital letter and you have your main clause, your main idea. But this time you have a subordinating conjunction and following that is a subordinating clause with the punctuation on the end. Now there are loads of subordinated conjunctions that you can use, but just to keep it simple today, I'm limiting it to when, as, and because just to make it simpler, but we can expand that list as your writing develops. Let's have a look at some examples together. So, first of all, look at the top here. I've created myself a key. I'm going to highlight in green all the simple sentences highlight in yellow the compound sentences and highlight in red 
the complex sentences. Just to remind you at the bottom here, these are the compound sentences with the coordinating conjunctions, and these are the complex sentences with the subordinating conjunctions. Your first job is to read through and find any conjunctions at all and underline them with a ruler, just using your normal pencil. So let's have a look. First sentence, Stone Age people lived in family groups. Any conjunctions there? No, I can't see any. Second sentence, their tools were simple, but they were very skilled. Have you spotted the conjunction? Yes, but, well done, underline that one. And the final sentence, flint was useful because it made a sharp edge. Spotted the conjunction, because. Great, so job one, done. I have found the conjunctions and underlined them. Job two is to take my colours. First of all, do I have any simple sentences? I've decided green is the colour for simple sentences. Well, simple sentences don't have any conjunctions. So this one here is a simple sentence. Any more simple sentences? Well, there's a conjunction in both of my others, so they aren't simple. Let's have a look at the second sentence. Their tools were simple, but they were very skilled. But is a coordinating conjunction, so that is a compound sentence. Let's highlight that one in yellow. Final one, flint was useful because it made a sharp edge. Because is a complex sentence. No, because is a subordinated conjunction, my apologies. So therefore it sits within a complex sentence. So your job today is to do just what I've demonstrated there, but this time using some sentences about making fire. Follow the instructions. Number one, underline all the conjunctions. Number two, color code, and you can use your own color code there's an additional activity here, number three. It says, circle the best conjunctions into the gaps in the sentences. So, their hands could get sore. You need to rub the drill quickly. Their hands could get sore and you need to rub the drill quickly. Or, their hands could get sore or you need to rub the drill quickly. Their hands could get sore because you needed to rub the, rub the drill quickly. I think that one there would be because. So I will circle because. Now sometimes more than one of the conjunctions would make sense. So the hands could get sore and you needed to rub the drill quickly does work as a sentence. However, I did say I want the best conjunctions and because is the best conjunction to make sense in that sentence. That's the core task. If you'd like an extension, I'd like you to go on to write three complex sentences about fire lighting. So this time you write the sentences yourself, but you have to use the subordinated conjunctions when, as, and because within them. If you'd like a simplified version, then the simplified version is the same as the core task, but I've already done the first stage for you. I've, I've underlined the conjunctions for you. So all you then have to do is color code the simple compound and complex sentences. So that's your lesson for today. Quite a strong grammar focus today. If you can identify those types of sentences, and then tomorrow I'll be asking you to write your own. Have a wonderful day.